Hello dear students, this lecture is about economic botany and in this lecture we will be discussing clove or and clove comes under the food group spices. So clove which is also called long in Hindi, it comes under spices. Now clove, the botanical name of clove is Eugenia caryophyllis and synonym is Caryophyllus aromaticus or it is also called Eugenia caryophyllita or Shygium aromaticum. It belongs to the family Myritaceae. This is a, a picture or a herbarium specimen uh, which is represented in picture form of clove. So you can see the plant and the clove. And this is, you can see here, the plant uh, and the clove growing on the plant. And uh, along with this plant, you can see that there are uh, cloves, which you must have seen in your houses. So this is nothing but now, clove, the which morphology is or the section of the plant. Hindi. So when you do sectioning of this plant, uh, you can uh, just make... Uh, two halves of this clove and what you see inside the section you see uh, uh, we will discuss in this so here so when you take the clove in your hands so even without a hand lens you can make out that clove consists of uh, more botanically clove consists of dried flower buds of Eugenia caryophyllus so what is clove Clove is nothing but dried flower bud. It is an unopened flower bud and it is reddish brown in color with an upper crown and a hypanthium. So this is this portion uh, which is globular. This is crown and this tubular portion or cylindrical portion. This is called hypanthium. The crown, what is there in crown? The crown consists of calyx, corolla, style and stamens. Because this is an up, unopened flower bud, uh, and it consists of a crown and hypanthium. So crown has these components, uh, calyx, corolla, style and stamen. Now you can see with your eyes and count, calyx has four thick sepals and corolla, which is also known as head, crown or cap. It has four pale yellow colored petals, which are imbricate uh, in um, your estivation then immature and membranous. S the hypanthium which is subcylindrical and tapering at the end, the hypanthium is 10 to 13 millimeter long, 4 millimeter wide and 2 millimeter thick and has cyzo lysigenous oil glands and an ovary which is bilocular. So the aroma or the flavor of the uh, this uh, clove is because of the oil glands present in them. And this oil glands are present here in hypanthium, which consists of the oil eugenol. So this hypanthium, which is the cylindrical portion tapering at the end, this has this is full of oil glands. And in this hypanthium, this circular portion has ovules. So it has a bilocular ovary and it has many ovules which are present in them. So the hypanthium has lot of oil glands and the crown has stamen style and your four petals so the ovary consists of abundant ovules you can see here in this section and clove buds they change color as they mature so initially they are green in color but they change to red or brown when they mature so clove buds change the color as they mature at the start of the rainy season, long greenish buds appear which change to rosy peach color and as the corolla fades, the calyx also turns yellow and then red. So clove which belongs to the spices, uh, it has strong spicy aromatic odor and pungent aromatic taste. So you can cut the section and even without staining with any, any stain, you can see it with the hand lens. Even without hand lens, you can see, cut it at, uh, in your homes and you can see with your eyes also. 
but you can see it better under a dissecting microscope when you cut the section or a simple compound microscope. So this is the section which we have just discussed when you cut the section. This is LS of globe, longitudinal section of globe. So you can see stigma, uh, style and ovary. Uh, and then you can see here that there are multiple um, um, stamens which surround this stigma, style and ovary. So uh, here you can see that this is corolla. Then stamens, there are many number, many stamens which surround this corolla. And then this is columnar style. Then you have calyx, this is ovary in the section and this is hypanthium which has oil zone and inner fibrovascular uh, bundle hypanthium. So you can see all this when you cut the section with a sharp blade and see it under a dissecting microscope or a simple compound microscope. Now we will discuss the economic importance of globe. So as we have discussed, it is a spice and it has a strong aroma and flavor because of the uh, oil which is present in it. So what are the uses why it is important for us? Cloves, first point is cloves are aromatic and fine flavored. They have almost many uses both whole and in the ground state as a spice for the flavor uh, and it is both sweet and it is used in many dishes. So they are used as flavoring pickles, ketchup and sauces in medicine, in perfumes uh, uh, and for perfuming the breath and in air in rooms. The essential oil which is obtained by distilling cloves with water or steam has even more uses. It is used in medicines as as an aid to digestion and for antiseptic and antispasmodic action. It is also used as local antiseptic in toothache. So you must have, uh, you must be knowing and you must have observed that uh, when people suffer from toothache, they just take a clove in their mouth and it gives them relief. So externally, externally it has a counter irritant action. It is an ingredient of many toothpastes and mouthwashes. So it is, uh, yes, it is very important in many toothpastes and mouth, uh, mouthwashes. And the oil has many industrial applications and is extensively employed in perfumes, in scents, soaps, and as a clearing agent in histological work. The chief constituent of oil which is your eugenol is extracted and used as an imitation carnation in perfumes and for formation of artificial vanilla. So you can refer any book uh, of economic botany to understand it better and I will recommend you economic botany by Kocher to uh, you can refer that for all the plants. Uh, which are there in economic botany syllabus and it is a very good book. So I hope uh, you have understood uh, what is the economic importance of clove and what do you see when you cut a section and please read book and make your concepts clear. Thank you students.